I always thought that success was going to be when I get recognized when I'm like walking down the street. And I always thought it was gonna be for my acting role uh, on Broadway, but it's actually for being the bagel lady. I am Lara Bros, Mama Bros. What brought me to Edinburgh was a love story. He is Scottish and uh, he was like, come to Edinburgh, that's the bagel bell. The eh, bagels are ready. We kind of always wanted to open up a cafe. I was like, maybe we should open up a bagel shop. Ross Bagel is a Montreal-style bagel. I called my mom and I was like, can you FedEx me some bagels? And she was like, what are you, crazy? That's like $100. And I was like, I really need them because I need to be able to speak to the bakers and get them to taste it because bagels in this country just aren't proper bagels. Six weeks later, I opened it up in Portobello because that's where I live. And I had the support of the community because I was teaching all the kids drama. And it's going to be this really nice, easy, part-time job. And then I opened the doors and there was a queue down the block of very, very hungry bagel lovers. Right now, we're in Leith and this is our second. Our third shop was in the West End. And then we are about to open up our fourth location in Brunsfield. It's important that each shop is a little bit different because we're listening to the people of the community, taking in their sort of style. A lot of people think that I'm like constantly texting people. I'm normally on my Izettle app. I like to see how each shop is doing and I'm never in one shop all day. I'm always on the go and it's been great for comparing lunch rushes. 12.45 lunch rush will start in Leith compared to Portobello, which is more of a 12.30 start and it's like a slow burner seeing what is selling the best, what is selling the worst, how many customers are coming, who's buying what. It allows me to be there and be part of it. It's a different challenge every day. I like the idea that people are coming to Edinburgh to get their bagels, but it's really difficult to try and hold on to this independent bagel shop as we're expanding so much. I feel like it's my duty to fill everyone's holes. Here are your bagels. I brought them from Montreal for you to have. Being able to see the look on people's faces when they're eating their bagels of this creation that I came up with and them being like, this is really good. It's nice.